How do you deal with that one doctor that nobody likes or that is always mean? Hmm. And what's worse is that there are nurses out there that are changing their schedule up because of this? Hmm. Okay, this is a very important answer, so pay attention and focus. Here we go. Put on your goddamn big girl, big boy panties and suck it up! Come on, man. A doctor not being nice. Yeah, there are doctors out there that are goddamn... They're assholes. You are not going to change someone's personality, especially a physician. <sighs> Sorry. Lost my cool. Talked about it many times before. You gotta develop a thick set of skin. This is part of the reason. Guess what? It doesn't matter where you go, where you work, who you work with, there's always going to be that one doc, and sometimes more. Hell, there's always going to be that one coworker. There's always going to be one person, handful of people, that are just a-holes. I call them life suckers. They try and suck the life out of everybody around them. It doesn't matter who. Pretty, sh pretty sure I've done a vlog, at least one vlog or two, on this particular subject on how to deal with those negative people. Be sure to go check out the Facebook fan page, all my videos there, or on my YouTube channel. And I quite honestly can't remember what I suggested, but here's what I suggest now. Number one, get over yourself. Get over being sad and offended and oh, woe is me. Get over yourself. You, you are not that special. Guess what? This particular doctor that we're talking about is going to treat other people just as badly. So as, as insensitive as that sounds, once you realize that, you can move on because it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal to you, meaning that the a-hole doctor treats everybody that way. So it has nothing to do with you. Second thing is, don't let them see you sweat. Don't let her see you sweat, period. Practice your stone cold face. Doesn't matter how they actually make you feel in that given moment. Do not let them see it. Unfortunately, it's all about giving and taking power, and they take away your power the minute that you let them. Third thing, doesn't matter who's right or wrong. I don't give a shit who's right or wrong. It has absolutely nothing to do with if you're smarter, they're smarter, you're right, they're right, they're wrong, who, whatever. That is point. That is, there's no point in that. What matters is the patient. The patient. That's what matters. Say it again. The patient is what matters. Advocate for your patient, no matter how that may or may not be. And sometimes that means they're right, sometimes that means you're right. At the end of the day, advocate for your patient. That does not mean that you fight to be the right, meaning that you advocate your patient doesn't mean that you are always right. Sometimes you're going to have to eat a piece of humble pie because they're right. Let it go. Kill them with kindness. I don't care how nasty they are. Kill them with kindness because that drives people crazy. What number are we on? Four? Five? I lost track. When tensions are high, don't elevate your voice, elevate your argument. Raising your voice makes you look like a child. And lastly, part of the question was, how do you get respect? You get respect by giving respect, even if they don't deserve it. Respect is a universal tool that everybody sees. So when you are respectful to someone who is an a-hole... You gain more respect from your peers and ultimately gain respect from your patients, and that's what matters. This, this BS of switching your schedules because there's a mean doctor, that's just pansy-like. Suck it up or get out. I did not sacrifice all I sacrificed to get where I am today to worry about my schedule because of some mean if you think you're going to find a job where there's nobody that's mean, demeaning, or asshole -ish, you might as well get out of healthcare now. Alright, so to review, here's the question.
Can't wait to hear what the tribe has to say about this one. 